We welcome you back inside the Collins Arena, getting set for game two of our doubleheader tonight. Again, As the, the Brookdale Arena. opponent oh, this evening is the Harrisburg tonight. Community Hawks. So we have the starting lineups being introduced as we speak. And as Rob Halsey, the public address announcer, gives them to us, we will reiterate the starting five, beginning with the visiting Hawks of Harrisburg. Starting five tonight, Vincent Fontacoba, Trey Slayton, Isaiah Bostic, Jaden Baltimore, and Mohammed Abdul Hamani. And for the Jersey Blues, which we'll hear in just a moment. Starting five, Manny Bell, Kareem Irby, Adam Kukai, Darnell Askew, and Kareem Kelsey. What do they all have in common? They are all sophomores, as Paul Chizik gets an all sophomore starting five in there on this day that the sophomores were honored before the game. A longer ceremony as we welcome you back inside. Brian Katzer and Dominic Sama. Dominic, a longer ceremony than on the women's side. We only had two honorees. Here we had five from the Brookdale roster honored before the game. Yeah, yeah, but I have to tell you, Brian, it doesn't York. matter for Jersey Paul Chizik, depending on, no matter how many sophomores Sorry, he has, because their recruiting strategies Green. are insanely Green. good to the point that we have literally a whole new squad Next compared up, to what we were looking at last six year six with guys like Kevin Mateo, Niles Halliburton. Now, of course, Askew was included in that team, but you had a lot of different faces compared to this year, so. Paul Chizik's recruiting strategies have been absolutely fantastic, and there is a That's reason why he's been in this job for 33 years, Many and this bell. is why he'll prop and hopefully he'll continue to and be in this job for another 33. At center, the man in the middle. So we get set for the opening tip. Your Dark undefeated Jersey Blues take the floor, it's and they are 23 and 0. What a beautiful record it is! This will be the final home game of the regular season. And they will wrap up the regular season portion of the schedule on Tuesday, and that will be a marquee matchup at Montgomery with the top two teams in the region going head to head. But first things first, tonight you got to take care of business, and the opponent is Harrisburg. They have struggled, they have won just once all season at a 22 tries. But they play the games for a reason. We'll see what happens tonight. With the officials, Dick Hecker, Athanasius Panagakis, and Wayne Irons. As we are about ready, by the way, that one official's name, that's nine syllables if you're counting along. And we're ready to go with Darnell Askew, reigning player of the week in the conference and the country. He controls the tip. Brookdale's got it to get it started. And they've got the opening possession. Handled here by Kareem Kelsey, getting the rare start. Swing it over, Kukai. A new look, starting five for Paul Chizek. The nod to the sophomores. So some of the key players not a part of action, like Savon Myers. First attempt, no good. The try by Kelsey. And here comes Harrisburg. Beat it down low, and they've got the first points in the game. That might be an upset in its own right. Vincent Fontacoba to make it 2 nothing. Yeah, Fontacoba, he is the point guard of this squad. He averages 14.1 points per game, so definitely look out for him tonight. Manny Bell off the front rim and rebounded by Harrisburg. Isaiah Bostic handles to the front court. Here's Fontacoba firing away off target for three, picked up by Askew, who is playing just a dominant stretch of basketball. Over the last week or so, it's garnered him multiple honors on Player of the Week. As Irby drives to the paint, finds Bell underneath, and he scores. We're going to see a lot of, lot of Manny Bell tonight. He averages 30, or check that, 19 points per game, and even 19 points per game. Leads the team in scoring right in front of Askew at 18.7. But Askew in hot pursuit with uh, the way his week has been so far. Here comes Kukai, lost the handle on it, it goes to Harrisburg. And yeah, for Askew, the season numbers are impressive, but in this last week, he's averaging over 30 points a game to go along with 15 rebounds. We got an early timeout, not even two minutes in, and a 2-2 two -two 
store. Back in a moment. Hi, my name is Adam Kuka. I'm from Staten Island, New York. I play point guard for Brookdale, and I chose Brookdale because I like the arena. What's up, y'all? This is Philip Burt. Um, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. I played a three and a four for Brookdale. Um, the reason I chose Brookdale is because, I, first of all, I had nowhere else to go. And talking to Cheese, he had faith in me, trust in me that I could come and make something happen at this program. That's why I chose Brookdale. Well, Harrisburg possession. They scored the first points of the game, so whatever happens the rest of the way, it's promised not to be a wire-to-wire -wire Brookdale win, which you might have expected facing a team that's 1-21. Shot off the front rim from Slayton, and Harrisburg will hold on to it. Surprising that Brookdale is still tied with this team, two to two. Brookdale, 23 and 0 on the season, number one in the nation against probably one of the more bottom teams in the nation, literally, with Harrisburg at one and 21, like you said. And Slayton to a cutting Jaden Baltimore, but Kukai was there to get in the way of it. Now Brookdale's moving it. It's Kelsey outside Irby. He's open. He hits. It's a three. Oh my God. Number 21, Kareem Irby. Yeah, great three there by Kareem Irby as it extends the Brookdale lead now 5-2. to two. A drive and a travel is Traveling called on Jaden Baltimore. Jersey He's been Blue. one of the bright Fantastic. spots in this Difficult season for the Hawks. He's averaging 20 points a game. He's guilty of the turnover here, and it's Brookdale ball. Dell down to Kukai. Gives it up for Kelsey. Back to Kukai. Unleashes the three. Can't hit it. And the Hawks able to find the rebound. It's Fontacoba it went out of bounds. They're down by three. Swing it cross court. Bostic for three. Can't get that to fall. It's knocked out off Kelsey. Will retain possession. So it'll be Harrisburg to inbound it with Slayton. The Hawks out of the EPAC, the Eastern Pennsylvania Athletic Conference. So this is not a program that Brookdale sees very often, the only time these teams meet this season. Inside for Abdul Hamani, and he banks it in off the Two window. For number 15. Wow, oh, only a one point oh, split Abdul four minutes Hamani. in. This is uh, surprising, oh, Brian, to say the least, but let's see what else Harrisburg can do for the rest of the game. Bell thought about the long jumper, now he steps back and can't hit. Rebounded by Fontacoba. He brings it all the way to the basket with a scoop layup that's good. How about that move? Yeah, fantastic move by Fontacoba. Like you said, averages 14.1 points per game. He is 47% from the field, so any inside shots, expect him to make it. Ask you, and that's too easy. He comes off a game where he posted a stat line that I don't know of that I've ever seen at this level. 38 points, 25 rebounds. That's reminiscent of a Wilt Chamberlain number. So anybody recruiting now, definitely look at Darnell Askew. He is fantastic. Baltimore stops the dribble. He's in some trouble. He fades away, comes up short, taken by Askew. Outlet ahead, it's Bell for the layup. Great look by Askew. He was totally aware of his players just streaking down court, and he gave it to one of his guys. He had both Kukai and Bell there. Knocked out of bounds, so Brookdale starting to ratchet up the intensity now. Savon Myers is one of the fixtures in the starting lineup, but he will start this one on the bench. Tweaked his ankle in the last game. The win at Luzerne, Brookdale won it in blowout fashion. Fontacoba turning with it, puts it up, short. Offensive rebound, another chance. That's an open look for Baltimore. It's off the side rim. Kukai lobs it ahead. A good transition defense, but Bell is back on it. And he goes up with contact. He's looking for a foul call. Askew able to take it away and put it home for two as Harrisburg 
Sean Lewis is fired up. I'm not sure if he was upset that there was no whistle or if he was just upset with his team. I think a mix of both, but more that his player, Vincent Fontacoba, couldn't the uh, get the foul the call there on Askew. But I think Askew, that. from my angle, he, he uh, picked it out cleanly. So don't know what there is to complain about there. Two shots. So Jaden Baltimore at the line. He's a 77% shooter. He missed it. Jaden Baltimore at the line. Shooting. Started oh, every one game. Shot. I'm not sure why. You look at the Harrisburg roster. Baltimore is the only one that we don't have his hometown available. So I, I guess they want to keep that a mystery. Speaking of Baltimore. <laughs> yeah, it would be funny if that's where he was from. But yeah, no we'll never know. That. Swing it to Bell. Bukai outside, Kelsey keep it moving along the perimeter. Bell steps back. Askew in the post with a fall away. He That's good. Darnell Askew. He just continues for Darnell Askew. Askew. Just a fantastic Blues. job. And he needs to keep this going throughout not only the rest of the regular season from today until the Montgomery game, but the I mean, trap and the steal and the easy one for Irby. Brookdale made that look easy. They've been They're making it down. look easy all season, Brian, with Askew, and now they're stifling defense. And now they've got another steal. This time it's Bell like, with oh, two. Number 13, Manny Bell on the assist number 31, Kareem Kelsey. And now timeout. a timeout taken by Harrisburg. Harrisburg. So Brookdale maybe started just a Full tad slow early. Harrisburg had a lead on a couple different occasions, and now it's Brookdale by double digits. 17-7, timeout on the floor. My name is Regan Berg. I'm from Manhattan, New York. Uh, I'm a shooting guard, and I chose Brookdale because I thought it would be good for my development as a basketball player. My name is Latrell Thompson. I'm from Staten Island, New York. My position on this team, I'm a combo guard. The reason I chose Brookdale is because the, the culture, the coaching staff, and just the staff in general, you know, it's a great atmosphere, and I feel like who would they want to come here, you know? It's a great school. So I'm Savon Myers, and I'm from Manchester Township, New Jersey, and the position on the team is forward. And I chose Brookdale because I think it's a good organization and a good coaching staff, and I got a lot of people that told me about, about the organization, and that's a good place, you know? So, you know, I took my talents here. My name is Nick Memley. I'm from Brooklyn, New York and I'm a guard for Brookdale, and I came to Brookdale to continue my athletic and academic career. Uh, my name is Jaden Cabrera. I'm from Perth Amboy, New Jersey, born and raised. Uh, I played the four and five for Brookdale basketball, and I came to Brookdale to further my academic and athletic career. Brian Gadsworth, Dominic Sama, rest of our Brookdale TV crew with you this evening. Harrisburg Game exactly. two of our oh, double man. headers. We see out. two they different opponents tonight. It was Harkham who handled Brookdale easily in game one. And now the Jersey Blues match up with Harrisburg. Got some pressure to deal with in the backcourt. And the whistle, and they didn't get it across. Well, the officials get together. It didn't feel like 10 seconds unless they got a foul in the process, but they're going over it. Yeah, a little discussion between the referees there. Yeah, it looks like the ref called it a little early. And it seems like Harrisburg will, oh. Yeah, a little confusion there. Doesn't look like anybody's walking over to inbound the ball. Seems like Harrisburg will retain the possession. Little mistake on the referee, little honest mistake. You don't see that every day. Harrisburg will have possession. So after all, they have it. Can they keep it for long? They get it across midcourt. Baltimore gets a big bump from Askew, then throws it out near midcourt. Drive to the basket, Fontacoba, and he draws Number the foul. Fontacoba will be 
Doesn't even done. look like he actually on tried to get an N1. He just Kelsey. knew that he was going to get contact, so he just went up Second. and, you know, Two made shots. it like he was shooting it. But either way, he knew. Fontecoba at 69% from the free throw line out of York, Pennsylvania. His first one's good. Number one, Vinny Fontecoba at the line. Trail. One shot. Second oh. year Hawk. Out of York, Pennsylvania. He splits the pair. Askew's got the rebound. He's been doing a whole lot of that lately. 25 in his last game. Just a remarkable total. Albeit against a lesser opponent in Luzerne, when that Brookdale handled with ease. Here come the Hawks on a bounce for Fontecoba, and he the gets the bucket. Fontecoba, number one for the Deuce, for the Hawks. So the Hawks have scored the last three, make it a seven point Brookdale advantage. Cut for Bell, and gets it to go. On the bucket and the face, number 13, Manny Bell. Pretty. Bostic gives up his dribble, tied up by Bell. Foul line extended Baltimore, way off line. And it'll go to Brookdale. Brookdale possession. So the final score in that last game was 112 to 63 Jeez. on Saturday at Luzerne, with Askew playing the starring role and the team as a whole from the field, Dominic, shot 65%. My gosh, probably a lot of in the paint shots. Do we know how many three-point shots? Speaking of a three-point play, oh, never mind. That's a charge on Kirby. Yeah, we were waiting for the indication there whether it was an and one or an offensive, but it goes against Brookdale and Kirby. Oh, Brookdale, second personal foul, teams third. So Harrisburg Watch takes possession. over and nearly Gives it away. Fontecoba for Baltimore. He sees two defenders around him. So Fontecoba drives to baseline and can't reverse it in. Rebounded by Bell. Past eight minutes gone by in this first half. Driving a kick to the corner. Kukai lines it up and knocks it down. Oh A long two-pointer. It's a long two for Kukai. Extends the lead now to 11. 21 to 10. He's 42% from the land of three. Speaking Baltimore, of. the cutter, and he'll go to the line. Oh, it's going to be last year. Two shots on the foul by Brookdale. On the foul, number 21, Creep. Yeah, Baltimore Irby. currently 77% from the charity stripe. The so, five, good chance he'll get a, both at the free throw line, but also averages, he's the leading scorer, Brian. Yeah, 20 points a game. This team has three players which average double shot. figures. You think when you look at a record of 1 and 21, you figure they're inept offensively, but this team has players who can score the ball. You're absolutely right about that. So it's pretty surprising based on the way their record has been. And I mean, compared to their average of 63 points per game scoring wise, they allow their opponents to score 89 points per game. That's insane. Got the and the foul. And that's another three point play there. It's gonna be Manny Bell heading to oh, a line no, for 15. one. Yeah, this time it goes in Brookdale's favor on the foul He's call and Bell an opportunity for the three point one play. Savon Myers is in. It's strange to see him in a game coming off the bench because he hasn't done it all year. He had started in every game, but you see he's got a slight limp playing with a tweaked ankle, as Paul Chizek called it. His team leads by 11. Fontecoba fires the three, too strong with it, rebounded by Kukai. Takes the pass. Myers getting a touch, and Kukai, and Myers, three on the way, and rebanded by Fontecoba. Yeah, they gotta keep a watch out for that, because Savon Myers isn't afraid of 
shooting not only from the inside, but the outside as, as well. Baltimore with a strong move and rejected by Askew. Outlet for Bell, who slams it down, down and, and he's fouled. Ball. Number 13, Manny Bell. Get the bucket. How about the defense to offense? The Darnell oh, denial, the three, and choice. then the assist, Late. and then the Bell three dunk the plus the foul. Second. How about and the highlight reel by Manny Bell? Oh, my goodness. One shot. That was probably the highlight reel of highlight reels this season. We've been seeing a lot of dunks lately by this Brookdale squad, which I will admit, long and lanky, and also probably twice the size of the average of this Harrisburg squad, so that is another plus for the Jersey Blues. Pontecoba goes around the screen. Slayton thought about it. Abdul Hamani gets into the lane. Blocked again, it's Askew. And you just cannot go in there against Darnell. Myers, the three. Rattled it out, offensive rebound, put back. It's oh, good back. for Kukai. And we're going to have a break in the action on full a timeout. Harrisburg timeout. A full timeout, 9.40 to go to the half. 28-12 Brooklyn. Here they are, your Jersey Blues cheering team. My name is Nick Memley. I'm from Brooklyn, New York, and I'm a guard for Brookdale, and I came to Brookdale to continue my athletic and academic career. Uh, my name is Jaden Cabrera. I'm from Perth Amboy, New Jersey, born and raised. Uh, I played the four and five for Brookdale basketball, and I came to Brookdale to further my academic and athletic career. My name is Jadeli Cabrera. I'm from Roselle Catholic. I play guard. And the reason why I chose Brookdale was just seeking an opportunity to save money through college. My name is Kareem Irby. I'm from Hillside, New Jersey. I'm the point guard for Brookdale men's basketball team. The reason why I chose Brookdale is because it has the best school in New Jersey and it's better for athletics. Hello, my name is Jack Zink. I'm from Middletown, New Jersey. I either play the point guard or shooting guard. And I was led to Brookdale because I like the coaches and the coaching staff and the players here. I'm Darnell Askew. I'm the five for Brookdale. I'm from Staten Island, New York. Hi, um, I'm Nick Williams. I'm from Patterson, New Jersey, and I played a two and a three at Brookdale Community College. For, yeah, just like that. 9.40 to go until halftime. On Brookdale TV, streaming live on YouTube. It's Brookdale matched up with Harrisburg tonight. It'll be Harrisburg possession outside the stoppage. Brookdale has worked Bucks the lead up to falling. 16 the points now at 28 to 12. Yeah, three timeouts remaining. Against a team that just may be overmatched. This Harrisburg team has lost 21 of 22 games this year. Their lone win actually came on the road at Delaware Community back last month. Bell, hard dribble inside and puts it in for two. That was strong by Manny Bell, Three fantastic job. Manny Bell for two. As they initiate their stifling defense and he deflects that pass. And now, some Three nice passing, five. Bell to ask you. Brookdale finish a number Bell. of alley-oops with dunks. None necessary there, but I think you mentioned it before the last time at this team. They've been racking up the dunks of late as Samuel Efekele, who's just come in, he misfires. Brookdale quickly ahead, another lob. It's Myers, all in one motion, and he's got the layup. Myers off the window on the assist number 23, Adam Kuga. Brookdale has gone to this press, and since they have, they forced all sorts of mistakes. There's another Askew block. Keep it with the Hawks. And Regan Burke and Philip Bird checking in for the first time now. Harrisburg, Bostic checks in, replacing Trey Slate. Hawks possession. Bostic on the drive, floats it up, gets the roll. 
Isaiah Bostic with a nice Two point smooth. goal by the Hawks, number four. Isaiah Bostic on the basket. Bird, they give him the three, can't connect. Rebound handled by Abdul Hamani. Yeah, Bird, that mu not that much of a three-point shooter. He's a big inside guy, so surprising that he's uh, attempting that kind of long-range shot. Bostic in and out. Abdul Hamani pivoting. Oh, get it out of here, says Askew. Give him three blocks already. That just cannot be fun in the post with Askew defending you. Yeah, Askew now over his average uh, of blocks. He's at exactly 2.8. He averages 2.8 blocks a game, so this will definitely up his average at least a little bit. Here's another one. Right to Paul Chizek, who makes the catch. Much love to the coach after Valentine's Day. It's a block party now. It's a one-man show. Harrisburg can't even get a shot away. Here is Baltimore. That one just got the rim to avoid the violation. They get another chance here. It's Efekele, no, and rebounded by Bird. Latrell Thompson is in. Myers along the baseline. Short and rebound to Abdul Hamani. Here come the Hawks. Fly Hawks and Jade Baltimore throws it off the glass and will shoot free throws. On the foul, number 20, Philip Bird. First personal foul, Teague's fifth. At the line, you know, five, given the Baltimore, record between these two shots. teams, the fact that Harrisburg is one and 21, so not much else to play for in terms of playoff seating. But in terms, of, compared to Brookdale, that Ball they're the competing to secure the number one spot in not only Region 19, but in the nation. Um, you know, between the two teams, Paul Chizek told us that he's trying to play every one of his players in tonight's game, whether it's a guy like Jack Zink Kareem Kelsey, Latrell Thompson, Regan Burke that we've seen on the starting lineup a lot, but he doesn't score uh, as much. Um, Askew there oh, laying it in for Brookdale. So, a little bit of rotating around uh, in terms of the Brookdale program for tonight. A save. Baltimore dribbles into a triple team and Harrisburg having all sorts of problems holding on to the ball. On the and throw leads down, to on the Thunder block. on the Save other on end, Myers. it's Myers. On the deuce. And McKaylee. They're just surrounding Harrisburg players on the perimeter, and they've got no chance. Ask you missing on the dunk. Fontacova. He lost the handle. Pocket picked by Bird. Bounce it ahead. Oh, the windmill! Oh, the dunk, number 24. Askew Turn breaking Askew. into his on bag the of pocket. tricks. On the throwdown. On the assist, number 20, Philip Bird. Yeah, if you're thinking of pulling tricks on a, any night, this would be the night, to say the least. 40 to 15 now. Harrisburg scored the game's first points. Bostic, no, and rebounded by Burke. He looks up the floor as we hit five minutes to go. First half on a pull-up three, short off the deflection. And Bostic, bounce it inside, can't get it to fall for Abdul Hamani, and Brookdale slows down the tempo. This game was originally scheduled for Tuesday, postponed two days because of the minor snowstorm, about three inches here in the area. But Harrisburg, a long trip, so better to play it safe. Bird can't hit, fielded on the air ball by Baltimore. And that 
gets it over in the bag. Backward violation of turnover. A substitution by the Hawks, number three, Trey Manny Slayton. Bell checking in. And Trey Slayton is back Fucking in bad. for the Hawks. On the floor for the Hawks. To reset the Brookdale five, they've got Bell, Thompson, Burke, Bird, and Myers. Also the substitution number 13, Manny Bell on the floor for Brookdale. Thompson running the point now. <laughs> Bell. Here's a three for Slate, and the rebound taken by Bell. Thompson, good aggressive play by Slate. Not a two on one, but a bad pass looking for Saki Bay. Turnover. Was just checked in. And now they make a change. Oh, Baltimore is right five. back Peter in. Baltimore. Vincent Fontacoba to the bench. So the Hawks had a chance on a two on one. They had a clear Jack. pad to the basket Zink. and they throw the ball away. Jack Zink is in for the first time as Myers sits down. 3.14 ticking. Brookdale in command, just as they have been all season long. 23-0 record, perfect at home, perfect on the road. Brookdale will retain possession. 11-0 home, 11-0 road, 1-0 neutral site. All adds up to the 23 and 0 total. Good for the top spot nationally. It doesn't look like they're ending it here. Bird elbow jumper. Loose basketball picked up by Bell. And there's a whistle for a travel. Turnover. Hawks possession. Again, don't forget at halftime. Sophomore day continues, halftime. Harrisburg is coached by Sean Here's Lewis. Team. Hoping his team can play hard, find a way to stay in this game for as long as possible. But it's gotten away. A 25 point Brookdale lead looking to add to it. Bird. Oh my God, 20. Phillip Bird. Fantastic move by Philip Bird as this lead strengthens now to 27. Baltimore, he'll lay it up in the layup. Number five, Jaden Baltimore. Shizek wants time. 30 second timeout. And he will do so with two and a half to go. We play this first half. 42 17, Brookdale on top. Uh, my name is Jaden Cabrera. I'm from Perth Amboy, New Jersey, born and raised. Uh, I played the four and five for Brookdale basketball, and I came to Brookdale to further my academic and athletic career. My name is Jadeli Cabrera. I'm from Roselle Catholic. I play guard, and the reason why I chose Brookdale was just seeking an opportunity to save money through college. My name is Kareem Irby. I'm from Hillside, New Jersey. I'm the point guard for Brookdale men's basketball team. The reason why I chose Brookdale is because as the best school in New Jersey, and it's better for athletics. Hello, my name is Jack Zink. I'm from Middletown, New Jersey. I either play the point guard or shooting guard, and I was led to Brookdale because I like the coaches and the coaching staff and the players here. Outside the timeout, Brookdale, out. Possession You're on on Brookdale TV, it's Jersey Blue basketball. Blue Thank you for possession. joining us this evening. We're in game two of our double header. Brookdale up big on Harrisburg. Late stages of this first half. Cross court for Zink, and he drills the ball. Oh my god, number 30, three. C3 for three. Yeah, Jack Zink known for his lethal three point shooting range. Here's Bostic, the answer, no good. And Bird gets to it before any Hawk could. Brought on by Regan Burke. And 
Got the and the, foul. Count and the foul. I have to say, Burke Rick might have gotten away with an extra step there. Regan yeah, that was just a really, down. really One nice shot circus Rochelle. shot by Regan Burke heading to the rim. On the foul, number three, Trace Slayton. Second first foul, team's third. One so shot. Burke has started to find his groove from early in the season when he was a fixture the starting line, and then he was slowed by those migraines, cost him three games. It kind of took him a little while to contribute the way he expects to, but he's back to that point now. He's got his team up by 31. Zink, that's a Z3. Back to back Jack for Zink. Zink. For three. When will it end for Jack Zink? I think we're just getting started. Well, Brookdale's on pace to go over the 100 point mark once again. Yeah, you say once again. <laughs> they've done it four straight times. Their season average five, now five, in scoring is nearly 100 on, points. It's just under Wonder 98 a game. Under one one side a minute to go. See, that's a stat I cannot believe at all. I, I could have sworn that their, their stat was literally over 100 in terms of their average. Slayton tried on the three, offensive rebound, Fontacoba, and Bird on the rebound. Timer is turned off. Brookdale can hold for one. Thompson using some clock inside 20 seconds. He handles from the logo. Burke. Swing it, Zink, he's open, pulls the trigger. Too strong, Bird kept alive. Thompson gets it away and he's fouled. And he'll shoot free throws. The foul occurred before the buzzer. On the foul, number one, Vinny Panikova. First personal foul, team's fourth at the line. Number four for Brookdale, shooting two shots. Latrell Thompson. So just about everybody has left the floor, but Thompson will remain and he'll shoot, and I would think they will put a fraction of a second back on the clock. Charles Thompson at the line, Chineo. One shot for Brookdale. Thompson at 55% this year from the line. including another dominant half of basketball for his Jersey Blues. Two free throws hey, good, and, half, two and I guess that's low. going to take us to the I half. No time will be remaining, and so on this sophomore we'll day, five sophomores honored sophomore before day. the game, and then they the take Jersey the Blues floor, and Brookdale leads. Squad. It's 53-19 as we're at the break right now. So Brian Gadsworth, Dominic Sama, Coming back for the second half after the break here on Brookdale TV. Back inside the Collins Arena as we get set to start the second half. Brian Gadsworth, Dominic Sama here with you. Harrisburg will open up with possession. Brookdale making their way onto the floor now with a big lead, 53-19. They lead Harrisburg in what is the final home game of the regular season. Brookdale will wrap up the regular season portion of the schedule on Tuesday with a visit to Montgomery, the number two ranked team in the Region 19. They are also nationally ranked in their own right, like Brookdale is in the number one spot. Hawks open up with possession. A drive to the basket, but it goes off the rim for Jaden Baltimore, and then Brookdale emerges the other way quickly with Irby and it'll stay Brookdale, with the Jersey the Blues. Position. They start the half with Irby, Bell, Myers, Askew, and Burke. Yeah, you see Irby there getting a little aggressive. I think that's what Brookdale is gonna look for for the second half and just blow this thing wide open because they're known to be a second half team. There's a whistle and Burke was out of bounds. See, that's unfortunate there. So Harrisburg will get the possession.
Handed off and a three for Slayton. Short. Burke trying to bat it away, but it's controlled by Harrisburg with a floater that initially was no good, but Bostic sticking with it and puts it in. Yeah, great recovery by Bostic after making that air ball floater. Lob it in, tough catch by Askew. He couldn't convert and it's over to Harrisburg. Harrisburg Normally when Askew is on that part of the floor, he is automatic. Shooting better than 60% from the floor this season. Just been remarkable. And of late, he has saved his best basketball for the end part of this season. Baltimore working hard on Burke. Got the shot away, but no good. Long passes to Bell, and he shows why he's the Brookdale leading scorer now with 17 points. Number 13, Mandy Bell on the deuce. And that's good. Muhammad Abdul Hamadi able to connect from the baseline. Hook it for Irby. Back to Burke, shoots the three. Bell got a hand on it, but it's Isaiah Bostic for the Hawks. Moves it the other way, Baltimore pull up. And he takes his own rebound and gets it to go. for Harrisburg. Yeah, now Baltimore finally showing what kind of a leading scorer he is after making that floater for Harrisburg. Came into the game averaging 20 points a game. Askew down low, count it, and one. Chance at a three point play. So he's up there in scoring with, uh, with Manny Bell. So Askew will have the chance to get him up to 15 points now in the game. So Askew was named the Conference Player of the Week for a second time this year, but the even bigger honor was the NJCAA Division III Player of the Week, and that takes into account all players nationally for Division III. So it just shows you the kind of week that Askew had. 58-25, the Brookdale lead. In the corner with Bostic. He connects it to three. on the triple. See, that's the thing with Harrisburg. If they just make more shots, they get more rebounds, and they get more close defensively, they could chip away at this lead, and they could be the new second half team in the Collins Arena. Here they are with Baltimore. Yes. Still a 28 point trail that they have to claw back despite the uh, heaping praise. Bill, ring that up. It's triple time. Manny Bill from behind the York. Uh, yeah, great. 20 points now for Bill. Yeah, great work by Manny Bell all around. That's the last thing that Harrisburg needs in terms of stopping the bleeding for Brookdale, because Harrisburg a li little bit in a uh, burst right now, but with the Manny Bell three, that doesn't help. Baltimore with a shake and bake. Not that time. Myers picks it up for Askew. And Irby moving toward the basket. Tried for Askew and taken away by Baltimore. Brought on for a pull up three. Slayton off the rim into the hands of Burke. Back and forth we go, but Brookdale a little sloppy with it. Slayton tries again, misses, rebound to Myers. Paul Chizik lets out a audible let's go with his team up by 31. Cross court, Bell thought about it, splits through two, finds Askew, and that's two oh, easy. Finish for two, number 24, Darnell Askew for two. Chizik just wants them to keep on going. Show what kind of caliber squad they are. Yeah, he said before the game, like, he doesn't care who the opponent is. He's going to keep the foot on the gas. He said every team gets a chance to recruit. That's Burke, the transition player. He, he's not just going to take it easy on you if you come in with a 
you know, one win record. Here's Slayton, doesn't get the bounce. Myers, another rebound. Brookdale moving quickly. Bill, the catch, and another bucket. On the finish, number 13, Manny Bell. On the so news. just when Harrisburg you know, had a little bit of a spurt, they got it within 28, and now you look up and it's close to a 40-point margin. Baltimore with contact, he'll go to the line. Yeah, Burke is guilty of the call there, so Baltimore, the leading scorer of this squad, will head to the line Burke. for two. First personal foul. He's a 77% free throw shooter, but he will shoot on the other side timeout. of the break. First attempt is good. At the line shooting one shot, Jada Baltimore. And in the game there, Samuel Efekele. Efekele, one shot. Sixty-seven to thirty-two. Through the hands of Bell, he's frustrated with himself. Brian Gadzer and Dominic Sama, rest of our Brookdale TV crew with you this evening. In game two of a doubleheader. Backdoor cut, rejected by Burke. And then too far on the pass for Askew. So they couldn't turn defense into offense on that particular trip. But this is a team with a bunch of high flyers. When they get in transition and finish at the rim, they are at their most dangerous. We get a look at Sean Lewis coaching this Harrisburg team. Effa Kale, too strong, long rebound, Irby. Moving it quickly, good passing, and the finish. It's Bell. Baltimore challenged by Askew, and Darnell commits the personal. That will be Brookdale's second of the half. On the foul, number 24, Darnell Askew, first personal foul, team second at the line, number five, Gina Baltimore, shooting two shots. Baltimore right back to the line. Freshman starting this 23rd straight game tonight. Gina Baltimore at the line, throw one shot is good. Mohamed Abdu Hamadi checks back one into the game. Hawks. Placing Epic Haley. Two added two for Baltimore. Not to be confused with the largest city in Maryland. And Irby easing his way to the basket. Bostick from the foul line counted. Brookdale can't have that happening. They can't have that at all. Oh, that would. Juan Pistoria to duck for cover as that one came in hot at the Brookdale bench. Yeah, and he is their top recruiter, so shout out Coach Pastore, a fantastic assistant coach for Brookdale. Irby for three. And there's a whistle. Green Irby will be going line shooting three shots on the foul by the Hawks. Number three, Did they Trace get a Slayton. foul on the Irby three-pointer? It appears so. Yes. Did you Trace. see much contact there? Third person foul. It was a little bit of contact, but Second. I mean, he three hit shots. him in the arms. So once that happens, I mean, obviously it's illegal. So the referees felt the obligation to call it. Irby on the line shooting two. Here's Irby shooting three. That Irby, one of the Fixtures in the lineup is one of the Brookdale point guards. Two for his first two, and he's got one more coming. Out of Hillside, New Jersey. Team leader in assists. He goes two for three. The rebound is to Abdul Hamani. 
scramble for the basketball and a travel. He's gonna give it back to the Jersey Blues. Turnover Blues possession. Another lopsided score. Brookdale has been no stranger to those. I mean, the one exception was the Northampton game. The double overtime thriller. Burke, shot clock winding down. Burke, floater, doesn't go, follow, good uh, for Askew. Yeah, that was made in a lot of traffic. Great job by Askew. Baltimore gets to the basket and sees Eskew there. Got a block and a foul all in one. You can't even, it's not even the fact that they can't buy a shot, it's that they can't buy even going for the shot. Which is crazy, because Eskew has been doing a fantastic job rejecting shots, so, did, so has been Myers. Burke has done his fair share of blocks. If I want to be honest, I think that Brookdale has gotten the most blocks all season tonight. Trio of changes for Brookdale. Kukai, Bird, Zink, they're all in. Baltimore, he's had a night at the free throw line. He's got two more, but his team is Way down, 75-38, the Brookdale lead. We played about eight minutes, second half. Brookdale will retain possession. So the Brookdale five is now Myers, Bird, Askew, Zink, and Kukai. With Myers to inbound it. Myers on the hard drive, oh my goodness. Sabon Myers. Myers. That is a power move to the rim. I can't believe that, wow. Savon Myers, my goodness. He's had two big time dunks in this game. Remember there was the windmill by Askew, so. It's been something of a dunk contest and bird hanging on the rim. Fly, bird, fly. And Harrisburg at this point is a dejected group. They call for time. Brookdale flying high, led by full Bird. 11.18 to go, we got a full timeout with Brookdale in cruise control again. Uh, my name is Jaden Cabrera. I'm from Perth Amboy, New Jersey, born and raised. Uh, I played the four and five for Brookdale basketball, and I came to Brookdale to further my academic and athletic career. My name is Jadeli Cabrera. I'm from Roselle Catholic. I play guard, and the reason why I chose Brookdale was just seeking opportunity to save money through college. My name is Kareem Irby. I'm from Hillside, New Jersey. I'm the point guard for Brookdale men's basketball team. The reason why I chose Brookdale is because it has the best school in New Jersey and it's better for athletics. Hello, my name is Jack Zink. I'm from Middletown, New Jersey. I either play the point guard or shooting guard, and I was led to Brookdale because I like the coaches and coaching staff and the players here. I'm Darnell Askew. I'm the five for Brookdale. I'm from Staten Island, New York. I, um, I'm Nick Williams, I'm from Patterson, New Jersey, and I played a two and a three at Brookdale Community College for, yeah, just like that. Uh, my name is Manuel Bell, but they call me Manny. I'm from North New Jersey, and I played a two or a three for Brookdale basketball. Hi, my name is Gabrielle Gaida. I'm from Monroe, New Jersey. I'm a middle blocker. Um, the reason why I chose Brookdale is because I was unsure of my major, and it was an easy commute um, from my hometown. 11 18 oh, remaining possession. inside the Collins the Arena on this sophomore night game. here in Lincroft, New Jersey. Both teams having players honored before the game, the sophomore leaders. It'll be Jersey Turn Blue basketball. And during the half, the sophomore cheerleaders honored as well. So we don't want to shortchange them. We played about nine minutes in this second half, a game that Brookdale leads by 41 points. 
Eskew. Short popped up into the air and Harrisburg will take over. Still a lot of time, Brian, but a lot to claw back from in terms of if you're the Harrisburg Hawks, the way the Brookdale Jersey Blues have been playing have been sensational so far. Fontecoba on a pull-up, he hits. Two point goal, number one, Vinny Fontecoba on the bucket. Floated for Zink. Bird got his man in the air. Came up short. He knocks it up into the air. Kukai saves it at the midcourt stripe. Zink for three. He knocks it down. Halfway through the second half. Baltimore, the back in and shot in and out. Save on Myers. Gets inside. And he was hit on the arm. Okay, we'll be going line straight. Two shots for the foul by the Hawks. On number 15, the foul, Muhammad Abdul Hamadi. Second personal foul. Team's third at the line. on Muhammad Abdul Hamani. Each side has committed three in the half. Myers at 75% from the line. Same Been Myers impressed by oh, his ability to shot. shoot the Over basketball, there. something that has evolved as this season has gone on, but he can shoot the three, nearly 50% clip, so he's a weapon in more ways than one. Yeah, no doubt about that. Plus, he's a big guy. He oh, stands so at Brooke six foot four, straight out of Manhattan, New York. He knows how to play all around. You saw him make that tomahawk jam beforehand. He can shoot the three ball. He did that, I believe he did that today. I mean, I've, did, I've been seeing him do that all season, to, th to say the least. But Savon Myers, to say the least, has really, truly been an asset all around for the Jersey Blues. Abdul Hamani surrounded on the offensive rebound. Baltimore drives in, can't finish with the left. Another chance inside, and they the score it the with Abdul Number Hamani. 15, Muhammad Abdul Hamani. Kareem Kelsey is in, and that's Kukai. That's the good. And Adam. the foul. Yeah. That was something. Great job by Adam Kukai for holding the double clutch, putting it up and in. Literally with his whole body under the basket and then moving his arms to put it, put up the basketball. One shot. No lack of words. Lack of better words. So Kukai making the start tonight as a sophomore three-point play to make it 87-42. I mean, these have been the kind of scores Brookdale has had many a time. Don't expect it to be this way on Tuesday against Montgomery. Paul Chizek certainly thinks highly of the Montgomery team. And that is expected to be a very good matchup both ways. Yeah, no doubt we'll be watching that one this week, or excuse me, next Tuesday in the away game. That's going to be a fantastic game to watch. I travel to Pennsylvania for that one, so we unfortunately don't have it for you here on Brookdale TV. Oh the layup by Bird. Last time the two teams Number met between Bird Brookdale and Montgomery was 30. the Region 19 semifinal last year. Brookdale came out with a 16-point victory here in the Collins Arena. We had the pleasure of calling it calling that game together. That was a lot of fun. But unfortunately after that, Brookdale being the number two seed and New Northampton being the one. Oh God, Jack Zink making that three C3, ball to Jack go. Zink for three. He's a streaky shooter and when he has it going, he can make them in bunches. And this game has been one of those. He's got four from behind the arc now. And he can also go into 
slumps shooting the basketball. Nice Dude, finger White roll finish for Bird. Yeah. Fly, Bird, Bird fly. Bird. One more time for Philip Bird. He really lives up to the name. Bostic back outside. Abdul Hamani is miss is rebounded by Bird. Watch out for Zink, but instead it's Kukai. The offensive rebound, Bird put back, got it. Put back for two off the window. Number 20, Philip Bird. Great job by Bird all around. He, he's just been fantastic for the Jersey Blues. Not much of an outside shooter, but he's almost like the, I would say, the direct replacement of what Devin Strickland was last year. If anybody remembers who Devin Strickland was um, a year ago with the Jersey Blue squad, that he was not too tall, but he was all around fantastic on the inside. There he goes again. Can't make that one though. I, I like that call. Very similar game to Strickland. They're both left-handed. They both kind of get on the floor and do the dirty work. They can score when they need to. Very similar game. And they both play both ends of the floor, kind of specialize on the defensive side. The coaching staff has told me that during practice, Bird wants to participate in the defensive drills that nobody else wants to. He doesn't want to come off the floor during those drills. At the line, number one, video yeah, that's a, that's a tough video. drill, and I've, uh, I've been there when it comes to practicing in terms of basketball practices. I mean, Philip Bird, kudos to that man for. It was a good find by this program recruiting out of state, yeah. Cleveland. Cleveland, Ohio. Kudos to Ron Pastore and the entire coaching staff on that steal. You know, they, did, they had to do a lot of recruiting, to say the least. I mean, let's, wow, Adam Kukai. Oh I was God. just about to mention him, Adam Kukai. Granted, God. he's a sophomore, but this is his first year, first and last year, with the Brookdale Jersey Blues. So, you know, not only did they have to recruit new freshmen, but they, they had to recruit new players all around. As you saw, number one, one Vince, Vinny Fadakoba getting that the bucket there, but on the bucket. they had to recruit more players than you think. So Here's Zink, not this time. And it'll go to the Hawks. And lucky for Zink, he has another year here with the Brookdale Jersey Blues. He's only a freshman oh, no, straight out of where else in Middletown, New Jersey. On a substitution by yeah, to not attend to North or South. He's a Calvary Christian Hawks. product. Possession. Brookdale on the doorstep of another 100 plus point effort. They're one point away. So it's a just about a sure bet that they will top that mark once again. Baltimore inside will go back Ball to the line. Two shots at the foul by Brookdale. On the foul, number 11, Bruce Gooding. First personal foul, team sixth. At the line, Jada Baltimore shooting two shots or Harris Bird. Yeah, really the only downside about doing the games for a team that's number one in the Harris nation the is today. that one you get shot. a lot of games here in the second half that are 40 and 50 points decided. And yeah. you, you basically have to come up with other discussion points. Yeah, and I'm happy to provide you company for this one. Of course, we had Tim Catalfamo during our last broadcast a week ago. Uh, a week ago today against Ocean, he joined me here for the second half of that game. We got our Super Bowl picks, and I'm Harris unhappy to report we both were incorrect on our Super Bowl pick, awesome. going with the 49ers. We know how that turned out. An overtime win the floor, for, for the Chiefs. Harrisburg. So, so be it. We'll be back at it again next year with our pick and hopefully correct. <laughs> yeah, it was always good to see somebody who was in this uh, previous spot as myself. So once I, uh, once I knew I was going to be uh, coming in to help out, announce games for you guys here on BTV, I saw the previous film with you and 
Tim, I knew that uh, the, sh the shoes to fill were insanely huge because now Tim, deservedly so, is the voice of NASCAR. And getting ready for the upcoming Daytona 500, which is this weekend on Sunday. Brooke Got an Elvis even five issue. minutes to go. And there's some, appears to be a disagreement as to whose position it is, but it's going to be Brookdale. The lead, 51. Don't know what the haste is in terms of getting this 100th point in. Kukai, another Kukai. splashdown oh for Number three. Adam Kukai. And there it is, over 100 a for the fifth straight game. Their lowest scoring total in a game since the new year, since we rang in 2024, was 87 three points. by the Hawks, number three for three, Trey Slate. Here's Kukai. On oh, the throw down. Number 23. Adam. Fired up Ooh, after God. the latest Brookdale player to rock the rim. Yeah, Coach Cheese reminding him that they have four whole minutes left and just to keep on playing. Which nobody there. Dude, and that's on Boston. The Number four, Isaiah Boston. Zink this time to the rim. We'll hook it out. Kukai, that's his spot. Short. Fontacoba racing. He'll take it himself. Rebound to Latrell Thompson. Moving it quickly to Bruce Gooding. He got hacked, but there was no foul call. Kukai. And Latrell Thompson ball, 14, Latrell gets on Thompson, the score the sheet. Number 23, Adam Kukai on the assist. And we got a whistle. It looks like an injury on the play. On substitution number 15. So Bostic Hamani, is Abdu out Hamani. and he's hobbled. Replaced by Abdu Hamadi. Final 3-23. As we wrap up the regular season portion of our Brookdale TV broadcasts. Another great season of doing the games. I mean, just about every year this team is near or at the top of the standings. This year, of course, has been no exception. So we thank our entire crew all season long. That time a miss on the dunk for Kareem Kelsey. Brookdale bench, they get fired up, even with the team up by 53. Backcourt violation, Bruce possession. And we'll time have a timeout. Out. Oh. 2.54 time to go out. should be our final stoppage. Back for the final couple Full of minutes and out. change of this one Harrisburg. with Brookdale up yeah. by a whole lot. Uh, my name is Adam Kuka. I'm from Staten Island, New York. I play point guard for Brookdale and I chose Brookdale because I like the arena. What's up, y'all? This is Phillip Burt. Um, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. I played the three and the four for Brookdale. Um, the reason I chose Brookdale is because, I, first of all, I had nowhere else to go. And talking to Cheese, he had faith in me, trust in me that I could come and make something happen at this program. That's why I chose Brookdale. My name is Bruce Gooden. I'm from Long Branch, New Jersey. I play guard at Brookdale. And the reason why I chose Brookdale is for the, uh, the basketball and how they win. My name is Regan Berg. I'm from Manhattan, New York. Uh, I'm a shooting guard. And I chose Brookdale because I thought it would be good for my development as a basketball player. My name is Latrell Thompson. I'm from Staten Island, New York. My position on this team, I'm a combo guard. The reason I chose Brookdale is because the, the culture, the culture staff, and just the staff in general. You know, it's a great atmosphere, and I feel like who wouldn't want to come here, you know? It's a great school. So I'm Savon Myers, and I'm from Manchester Township, New Jersey, and the position on the team is forward, and I chose Brookdale because I think it's a good organization and a good coaching staff. And I got a lot of people that told me about, about the organization and that's a good place, you know. So, you know, I took my talents here. 
254 remaining. Brookdale on its way to a 24th straight win this season. And then you go back to last year and en route to the national championship, they won their final 17 games of that campaign. So you total it up, it's a 40 game winning streak bridging the two seasons. Ball movement, Kelsey, and the clock expires. Shot clock violation, turnover. And the good thing is, Brian, is that when it comes to Brookdale being the number one team, not only in the nation and being on this 40 game winning streak stemming from last year, now looking into the Region 19 playoffs, there's no doubt we're, at, we're gonna have some home games here that we can broadcast to you, the viewers, to bring you in terms of the Brookdale men's basketball program. This is gonna be a lot of fun and hopefully Brookdale keeps moving forward all the way to the championship because we'd be bringing the viewers that also. Yeah, the region play us at Kukai. They begin on the 24th of this month, the first round that's on Saturday. Brookdale is assured to have a bye for that round, so the likelihood is we'll see them on the 27th here at the Collins Arena. If they win then, they continue on in the 29th, and then the region championship will be on Saturday, March the 2nd, before the national tournament begins another week or so later on the 13th, awesome. the men's Dude, tournament in Herkheimer, New Dude. York. The Sorry, women's babe. will be in Rochester, Minnesota. Goody. So that is what we have to come. But still one more game in the regular season. A lot to still sort out with that Montgomery Three game foul. looming. Three, Four, first foul. And then it's postseason basketball from there. So we look forward to having you covered. And Brookdale TV will be there to do just that. Final minute and a half. And ball to ah, put it back on the finish, number five. Put it up and through. On the bucket. 111. 55. Gooding. It's no gooding and rebounded by Pontecova. I like the play on words you made there. Well, you, you got to get a little creative when the score is almost a 60-point game. Yeah, anything but Gooding Look, for Gooding. Speaking of. Sophomore day. Final minute now, Kukai. Stay with Brookdale. All but one win this season decided by double digits. And plenty of them, 20 points and beyond. So this one goes in the category of beyond. Missed by Zink. Kukai outraces Baltimore. First finish for Zink. Four, number 30, Jack Zink. Got a five or six second differential shot in game clock. And we got a Brookdale foul, be team foul number seven. That's number 14, Latrell Thompson. Number 14, first person foul, team seven. One and one. So we got a one and one here for Fontacoba. One and one for the Hawks. Another whistle. It was Abdul Hamani went down, and they got another Brookdale foul. So, a little prolong this one. So with Abdul Hamani violation. now to shoot. Yeah. Looks like a lane violation on Brookdale. So. Abdul Hamani out of. Niger, the African-born 
sophomore on this Harrisburg team. Hopedale can run it out now. 113-55, another rump. And for Brookdale, the Jersey Blues, they are not feeling blue. They have won 24 in a row. Brookdale wins on Going back to last day. year, a winning streak yeah. now. 41 consecutive games. As this team continues to cruise. And they overwhelm Harrisburg. Another blowout victory for the Jersey Blues here tonight. So we want to thank you for joining us for the doubleheader this evening. And we'll be continuing on Brookdale TV as the postseason gets underway. So stay locked in to Brookdale basketball as the Jersey Blues vie for another region crown before they hit the national stage. I'd like to thank our entire Brookdale TV crew all evening long, led by cameraman TJ McEvely here in the booth, the director Antonio B. Gerano, and the executive producer Sergey Kornienko. Our past broadcast partners, Ian Mulhern, Zeke Luster, and for Dominic Sama, I'm Brian Gadsworth saying thanks again so much for watching. Brookdale wins 113-55.